Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avery Lefebvre, and this is Top 5s, the only weekly Top 5 show in snowboarding. This week's Top 5, the Top 5 Reasons You Should Ride a Cambered Snowboard. Number five, you live outside Colorado or the Pacific Northwest, so you don't have some weird brand allegiance which is bordering on cult-like, and you want a snowboard that reflects that. Serious. Some of the shit these people got going on, it's cult-like. It's scary. Fucking drinking the goddamn Jeebus juice. Number four, you don't ride POW. Ever. I mean, ever. So there's no reason to make it easier on you, since you're never going to ride it. Cam rocker? Nope. Reverse camber? Nope. Flat to rocker? Nope. Flat snowboard? Nope. Straight camber. That's it. That's all you want, because you're not riding POW. Seriously, all those other camber profiles do make POW riding that much easier and better. That's just my opinion, and you can take that however you want. I know there's like three of you judging me saying, I ride POW on my fucking cambered snowboard from 25 years ago. Well, no one gives a fuck about you. You're old. You should just just, just go crawl into your cave and die. God damn Ludites. Fucking Ludites, man. Number three, you appreciate rebound and snap out of your snowboard. You're not getting that with your fucking soggy ass skate banana or your flat to whatever the fuck it is Giltson calls it. No, no. You're not getting it with either of those fucking things. You want snap and rebound? That's why you ride camber. If you don't and you want that, you should ride camber. Looking at you, right there. Number two, a good edge catch builds character. So, you know, kids these days, they're kind of soft and weak. I mean, I don't really know what's going on with this whole safe space thing and why they self-identify as aardvarks. I don't even know what an aardvark is, and the only reference to an aardvark I have comes from Aardvark in Red Dawn, which is a really good movie that does not have any safe spaces in it. So, if you need a safe space and you self-identify as an aardvark, you probably shouldn't ride camber, but if you don't, you should. Plus, riding camber and catching your edge teaches you about edge control and how to have better edge control. So, long story short, don't self-identify as an aardvark that needs a safe space and understand your edges. There you go. Rest in peace, aardvark. You were my favorite. Honorable mentions. You still have good knees, so camber does not affect them. You rode reverse camber when it came out once, and it just was not for you. And the number one reason you should ride camber, you're a man, you know how to ride like a man. Maybe you're a mom, you could be a bomb mom, I don't know. You know how to charge and rip, and you know that you need that drive, precision, and power that it gives you. That's right, you're not a weakling. Like the number two people that self-identify as fucking aardvarks. What the fuck kind of world do we live in where people self-identify as a fucking aardvark? Aardvarks. Don't be a fucking aardvark. This has been my top five reasons on why you should ride traditional camber. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Did I miss one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this topic. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you'd really like to support us and you just want to see us grow out what we're doing over here, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.